Okay, got my phone here. Let's see if 33 stays stable or if it speeds up. See what it does. Let's watch it for a minute. Now I'm still bummed that there's no strobe, so I'm going to track that down, but 33.39. Um, that's pretty dang good. So, I'm going to have to get into the schematic and figure out what. In fact, I've got it up here. I'm just, while this thing is going through, let me see. There's a TR3, TR19 for the strobe, and then two resistors. So TR3, there's an R29 and an R28. Um, man, that's cool. So, and I never listen to 45s. And this is going to be my table, but I would like to get it fully working. So that is a positive development for sure. All right. So what is going on with 45 and the strobes? Let's see if we can figure out the strobes. And let's look at... Oh, let's look at R28 and R29 and TR3. So TR3 I think is where was TR3 at? I saw it. TR1, TR2. TR14, TR6. TR3 is up here. So there's R29. Now I did I did test these. So Well, I did not pull TR20 or I did not pull TR3. But let me just do a quick in circuit on 29, R29 should be 22, where'd it go? Yeah, 22K, R29 is 22K, R28 is, R28 is here, sorry my head's in the way, this should be 3.3K, and in circuit is 3.3K. TR3, what I did was the the six-way diode test on this. And it could be the LEDs could be out, I suppose. But I'll show you what we what I what that six-way test looks like. So basically you're just gonna take the probes, meter and diode mode, and you're going to probe, and you're either going to get OL or you're gonna get around 0.6 volts as you go from leg to leg. Oops. So see we got 0.7, and if I go from red to black we got 0.7 again, Then if I go from here to here, or actually go from here to here, right, 7. What we're looking for, we don't want it to show like 0, 0, 0, 0, because that'll show that it's, that it's shorted. Now I do have a component tester and I could have pulled this, but I, I think that transistor is probably okay. What I'm going to have to do is, so here are the strobes, and that goes into this 6, 5, and 7 right here. Oh, that's loose. So the strobes are on this little piece here. Now the strobe should be on when I turn it on, if I remember correctly. I think they're on before you hit the speed button. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if, and this has been removed before, because those are some pretty um, bulbous uh, solder joints there. So I'm going to test and see if we're getting some voltage to this board. So I'm going to I'm going to kind of poke and prod and fart around with this look at the manual a little bit more about adjusting the speed, see if maybe we can work something out on 45. So I'm going to poke and prod and I'll come back when I find something. Okay, so I've tested the LEDs. They test good. So I want to show you um, 
So uh, I take my my red lead and I attach it to the anode, right? Um, and you can tell by the symbols which is which, but watch when I take the black lead and I hit the cathode. See how light comes on? I don't know if you saw that. Light comes on. Right, and I get a measurement on my multimeter in diode testing mode of a, around 1600 millivolts. Right, 1.6 volts. And I did that with all of the LEDs and they all lit up and measured around 1600. And when I turn, when I turn it on, I'm getting voltage to the board. I just don't know what the voltage is supposed to be. It, to me, it seems pretty high. I don't, I, it's, it's like 12 volts. I don't know what it's supposed to be for an LED board like this. So there may be another issue somewhere else. Well, obviously there's an issue somewhere else. I did verify that when these pins were removed, they were put back in the proper position. So seven, is red and white stripe, five is white, and six is red, and I'm referring to the numbers on the board. There's a seven, a five, a six on the board right here. So they are oriented correctly. One thing I haven't done though was um, I haven't turned it on with the LED board out right to where I can see if these are actually lighting up and maybe there's something blocking it. So I'm gonna try that. I think I have it plugged in. So let's see if those will come on. They flash and then they go out. Interesting. So they flash for a second and then go out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, let me see if I can get them to where you can see it. Yeah, you can't really see it, but they just flash and go out. All right, so interesting. So I'm gonna keep troubleshooting this, figure out what's supposed to be happening. I wonder what the voltage is, what the voltage does when I do that. Let's see if I can position this to where, because I think 12 volts is too much, but I honestly don't know. I just wanna attach this to one of the LEDs, hopefully it'll stay on there. I want to watch the voltage, see what happens. Yeah. So 10 volts. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to keep troubleshooting these uh, this LED issue, but I wanted to show you that test. So the the lamps the lamps are working. It's something with the circuit. I still think that's too high, but I'm going to have to get into the service manual and figure out if I if I can figure out what it's supposed to be there. So I'll come back when I figure something out. Okay, after quite the expedition. We have LEDs. So here's the journey I went on. And I think probably everything that I replaced was contributing. So, and what's really frustrating is I pulled TR19 and TR3, tested them both, both looked fine, had low gain, uh, TR3 had really low gain. TR19 had low gain. Uh, TR11, so if you come over here, this is the lamp of, uh, what do they call it? Let me, I just want to make sure I get the circuit name correct. This is the lamp voltage regulator circuit over on this board. So I replaced one diode 
um, D19, although it tested good, I replaced it because I pulled it to test it. I pulled D18, I did not replace that one. I pulled TR11 over here, I did replace it. Um, so, replace this, nothing. Replace this, nothing. Repla or tested that, nothing. Came over here. Oh my gosh, my phone is going to drive me crazy today. Super Bowl Sunday, so everyone's figuring out what time they need to come over. Um, TR19, tested good, replaced it anyway. No change. Uh, tested all the resistors that would um, influence that circuit. No change. Tested TR3. TR3 tested good. Again, low gain. Uh, replaced it with an 1845. Right. So it was a 2SC458. I put a KSC 1845 in there. And now we have strobe. So I'm going to flip it over and see what that strobe is actually doing when we when we throw the platter on and hopefully the speed is still good I don't trust any repairs <laughs> so we'll throw this on I haven't even tested the arm circuit yet to see if that thing's working supposedly it's not but I think it I think from what I've seen it appears to be but that'll be another wild goose chase probably another bunch of caps and transistors that are bad so I could actually test it here but let's see oh beautiful bright strobe right here that is awesome put it on 33 make sure it doesn't take off like a jet and it and it's taken off like a jet okay well and stop doesn't stop doesn't stop it okay that's fine that's fine because we monkeyed with some stuff let's see what 45 does 45 is stabilizing. 33 is stabilizing. So let's go back, turn it on, hit 33, and then 33 takes off. That's okay, we can still do some adjustments. So I think we're getting closer though. All right, so let me uh, put this on the scope again, see if I can get this new mess figured out and uh, see if I can get the speed dialed in for 33 on this. <laughs> 